Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Uh, this is a special series I wanted to create and share my experiences uh, across my life uh, on different aspects of life. And uh, uh, there are different things that I have observed, I have experienced, and I wanted to kind of uh, share uh, those experiences with you. Uh, they are pertaining to different, uh, I would say, domains of life. Uh, different aspects. Uh, I'm not kind of a saying you should go by this or that. It's just like I'm sharing my experience. Uh, if it is kind of a you could relate it out, of course it helps you out. If it doesn't, uh, there is no harm in listening to the other person's perspective and see how you could actually uh, resonate with that or you could take some good points onto that. Uh, today's video, I'm going to talk about my uh, Canadian ex uh, immigration uh, uh, experience. So friends, uh, uh, in this video, I want to share my Canadian immigration experience. <clears throat> a lot of people, uh, uh, they try to immigrate, especially from India and from all over the uh, other part of the world also. Um, but I, I was born in India, so I could uh, share my experiences from an Indian perspective. Um, I actually immigrated to Canada in 2015. And uh, the major reasons uh, for my immigration was to... Uh, for my daughter's education, that's one of the reasons like she could get into a better university or a better first class educational institute. Every parent would, I think so, would relate to that. Uh, the second major reason for shifting uh, on to Canada was or to take that decision uh, was for a quality of life. Um, um, <clears throat> you definitely want a quality of life in terms of better environment, clean environment, uh, standard of living or, or whatnot. So I think so these were the two major uh, factors that helped me to kind of uh, move on to this decision. Uh, it was not an easy decision to take. Um, I actually, uh, I was around like 40 years at that point of time and within that mid-age, if you want to shift and uh, move on to another country, it's entirely a different experience. So uh, one can definitely understand that. Uh, when I shifted on to Canada, um, uh, when we when I actually decided to move to Canada, so um, whenever you go to any other country or even a, another city within, let's say, India, um, there are teething problems, there are issues of settlements, you are actually uh, starting off your life uh, virtually, it's, it's a reset of your life, I normally call it as a reset of your life. Uh, because uh, uh, financially, mentally, physically, you just restart from um, um, like um, a zero point again. Uh, you build your uh, kind of a reputation over there. Nobody knows about you. Nobody knows about your work you have done. <clears throat> Although you could definitely showcase that. Um, but of course, uh, there is no kind of, I would say, a validation for that. Somebody has not seen uh, that thing in front of them. So it takes a little bit of a while to kind of set yourself. I was lucky enough to get onto uh, a job in my field. Uh, it's, it's more likely, I would say, a uh, combination of a hard work and a luck factor that uh, comes into picture. And uh, <clears throat> within 10 days when I landed, landed up in uh, Canada, I got a job in IT. I got a job in specific field which I wanted. So I would say I, I feel lucky enough to get a job in that uh, particular duration. Sometimes people have to <clears throat> kind of a struggle for, let's say, two months or six months or they have to do an odd jobs. But... Uh, I was kind of a blessed by the divine not to go through that kind of an experience. So that's one of the good things that happened to me. But having said that, that doesn't mean that the transition is easy. Um, you have different things in your mind. When you come up to a new country, uh, things are different. Culture is different. Uh, you need money to kind of uh, support yourself for initial few months. <clears throat> that's uh, everybody goes through that. And I think so. Uh, everybody does. It's, it's more like a dollar stream. Uh, people have different perspectives when, uh, before uh, coming uh, uh, to Canada, like, okay, Canada would be like this, or everybody has different thoughts about Canada. I even had uh, those kind of thoughts. But when you land up over here, reality is a little bit different. People talk in different ways. Uh, you see the culture is different. <coughs> of course, 
the language is different there's a language barrier there is a cultural barrier which you have to overcome slowly and slowly even the food which people eat that's totally entirely different over here so it took uh, i think so for me for my family a while to really get along with that and uh, uh, slowly and slowly we got settled over here <clears throat> things were moving uh, i would say not fast not slow but they were moving uh, in a positive way so that's that's one of the good things that happened to um, uh, me especially uh, during my immigration and of course um, um, uh, just like any other person i would also think about a conversion factor of a 50 dollar <clears throat> 50 rupees for 1 dollar or a 55 uh, 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 indian rupees for 1 dollar but then eventually once you start living over here then you realize that you earn in dollars and you spend in dollars <clears throat> because now you're going to live over here you're not going to go back probably yes some people do go or they they kind of a thing that they are going to spend their last life uh, or the last leg of your life in india but probably if 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 you have come over here and you are going to settle over here so it's more likely you earn in dollars you spend in dollars you save in dollars that's what the crux is so after a certain point of time i think so everybody stops that uh, you don't actually start converting and putting it into a multiplied by 50 or multiplied by 60 or the current rate whatever it is because you you start thinking in terms of dollars one of the realities which i have uh, realized like uh, uh, fundamentally uh, the dollars are not going to come easy it's it's more likely you have to work for it it's a hard work out here people do <coughs> i've seen students i've seen my colleagues i've seen other people they work really very hard some some people do work on the uh, weekends also to kind of uh, meet their ends and uh, uh, canada i would say is is more likely uh, uh, the cost of living is very high over here as compared to the indian uh, or what we call as a price parity or a currency parity <coughs> so it, it's 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 definitely not easy i would say what you could afford it in um uh, let's say india you could afford it in the same salary or a structure you cannot do that kind of a price parity over here right um um of course um there are other things like uh, in your house you do everything the domestic maids or um you, you domestic helps if you want to take around <clears throat> they come at a cost uh, that's not um, a simple cost it comes at a huge cost uh, so some people are able to afford some people majority of people are not able to afford so everything at your home whether it's um utensils washing or cleaning of your clothes ironing of your clothes right all the jobs which typically you don't really do it in india uh, those jobs are being done over here by every person right that's one of the i would say a cultural uh, shift which we kind of uh, saw that <coughs> the food uh, people eat uh, that's very different you can have a multi uh, cuisine kind of a stuff over here because a lot of people from different parts of the world are here so you would uh, tend to like learn and eat that kind of a food Uh, which typically um, we may not be liking or which we may be thinking about to try out but then once you are here you definitely kind of a see on that ultimately uh, <clears throat> i would say uh, canadian uh, for me the canadian experience has been good it 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 was a kind of i would say a decision that turned wise for me uh, things really worked in the way i would have hoped for so uh um, thank you for the uh, i really thanks uh, divine for that without divine's will nothing happens that's what i believe and uh, uh, slowly and slowly uh things you start settling down i think so one of the major things which i have learned uh, in canadian or dollar dreams is uh you have to think from a longer uh, perspective you cannot think from a short term perspective if you are thinking from a short term perspective you can possibly be not be able to settle in canada that's not a country or any country you kind of a migrate that's not going to help you out uh, but if you plan to kind of a live for a longer period of time uh, you give yourself some time to settle down to go through those teething troubles and everything i think so definitely it makes sense uh, slowly and slowly it definitely helps you kind of a settle down and then you start seeing certain advantages working uh, in your favor <coughs> so it's more of a i would say a long term strategy rather than a short term strategy 
and uh, there are a couple of other things also like um, um, if, if, um, what i fundamentally believe is everything has um, uh, certain trade offs right so if if you get few positives you get few negatives also so it's not everything is going to be a good thing for you nothing is going to be bad or something like that no <coughs> i would say one of the things which de- uh, doesn't really work to your favor is uh, is the weather uh, canada is really known for the harsh weather like the extreme temperatures uh, you would face it in canada might be going to minus 30 minus 40 or minus 50 even in certain uh, <coughs> parts of canada uh, snow and then living to those harsh conditions is one of the realities out there of course i'm in vancouver so it's it's much different vancouver is uh, comparatively i would say one of the uh, beautiful places to live uh, not very harsh weather over there <coughs> but still i would say uh, it's 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 one of the harsh realities um, life is definitely uh, w- what you see on social media is not exactly the similar you have to work very hard you have to earn money get your bills paid out work for your expenses and uh, uh, get your uh, even even the uh, if if you want your children to let's say study in best of the universities might be ubc or might be uh, sfu any other especially i'm talking about in uh, vancouver um, <clears throat> even for a permanent resident uh, the costing is not very easy like if you're not getting a good job or you're not getting a handsome salary let's say it's it's really difficult to kind of uh, afford those uh, tuition fees and other things um, so <clears throat> i i would say uh, my experience with canada especially the canadian immigration uh, normally i call it as a dollar dream because the canadian is, is definitely aligned with the american market also <coughs> people who come to america they sometimes have come to canada or like people have moved from canada to america also i think so it's more of a choicing and trade off what you really want from your life um if if it's 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 i think so it's a decision that uh, you have to take it's a decision where you need to define your priorities what you want out of your life what kind of a lifestyle you want to live uh, what what makes you happy that's very very important um, i would never say um, to anyone to just come over here and then <clears throat> it's all good you have to kind of a think about your priorities your financial conditions what you really want to see yourself after let's say 5 or 10 years or down the line it's a long term strategy kind of a move not a short term strategy because uh, short term strategy people have like majority of them have seen people going back they don't really like it because they always have a comparison out there with the indian job or india whatever they were doing in india so i think so it's it's one of the uh, major decisions which i took uh, but uh, uh, if anyone wants to take that <coughs> even right now the market is going very i would say it's 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 a tough the economy is uh, quite um, uh, dicey at this point of time uh, it's 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 the cost of living is too high in canada right now so but even then uh, things might be different in the coming times because nothing stays permanent uh, so what is uh, let's say what is positive right now might go into negative what is negative right now might go into positive so um, life works on hopes i think so so if you have to come <coughs> thinking to come on to canada for any of the uh, visas might be um, let's say a student visa or a, a pr or let's say work visa or anything think about your priorities what you really want out of life uh, think about a long term strategy don't come for a short term strategy <coughs> and always be ready for what i again say life definitely resets it it resets and you have to kind of uh, start it from there uh you have to start from zero from scratch everything resets out here but of course uh you're making that choice because of some specific reason and those choices for reasons you are making they eventually pay you off may not be in a short term but eventually they pay you off and see yes one last thing which i would say if you want to come to canada i think so one of the best ways to come to canada is as early as possible means from an age perspective if you are young you come here you have a longer period in canada to stay you can grow much more you can stay in a much more better way your career graph could move in a better way 
uh, but as you kind of are delayed let's say even even the points which you carry for your age they go less and less on the ages uh, crossing a particular period of time so i hope guys uh, that's what my experience of canadian immigration is the dollar dreams what i call it uh, please do let me know your experiences i would love to hear or comment it out in my uh, on my video uh, whether your experience was good bad or kind of a so so or you're planning to stay in canada or planning to go back after a period of time whatever everybody is different and i, I and i uh, what i fundamentally believe is there is no decision which is right or wrong it's like what what you want out of your life or what you want the way your life should be so that's what <coughs> my fundamental is i hope guys uh, this is one of the first videos i created uh, where i'm actually coming on the camera and presenting my views but i'll be actually putting up some more videos on different uh, experience and life journeys what i've gone through and share my perspectives um, i will be looking forward to your comments and happy to hear about what you really think about canadian immigration and dollar dreams thank you and have a good one